Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. And it's time to resume where we left off. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. And if you missed uh, yesterday's episode, check out the playlist in the description below. Cool. All right. Now, moving on. Okay. So in our last episode, we took down... Uh, I Sigmund? No, no, not Sigmund. What was his name again? Zengetsu! That's right, yeah. Like the metal band. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, he told us not to follow him. We're just gonna throw caution to the wind and follow him. I feel like Zengetsu would be the name of somebody that I don't know what I don't want to say, but then it would ruin him for you. I feel like it would be a good clown name. How would Zengetsu that... the clown! No, I don't. No, no, I don't no, so. I don't I don't see that at all. Alright, never no. mind. Probably wouldn't I don't, work. I don't, I don't agree to that. Capacity Hey, his name really doesn't sound like Boop. Uh Oh my gosh, I can't think of any clown names. Oh I love using this axe so much. Yeah, his his name does sound like a metal band. Wait, what is it dude doing way up here? He's gotta be a vampire. Oh probably. Oi, wait a minute. Are you human? Do I look human? What does it look like? I I'm not sure. Your body is covered with weird decorations. Uh, yes, but these are... These are all the rage in Paris. <laughs> oh, Paris. Wow, I've never been to Spain. Uh, the name's Benjamin. <laughs> uh... He thought Paris was uh, in Spain. I'm Miriam. Benjamin, you shouldn't be here. I oh, know, I know. I'm so scared, I can't even stand up. Damn. I just want to go home. Hmm. Do I have any items that could help get him home? Hmm. I don't know, do we? Really? A waystone? Okay. Help the stranded man. Why not? This, this will help me escape. I guess. Yes. Picture your house, and don't let go of that thought. Alright, alright, I'll try it. Awesome. I think it worked. Whoa! Oh, we can only hope. We got a thousand dollars for doing a good Samaritan deed? Yeah! Heck yes! Yeah. That was Oops. awesome. Okay, well, that's what happened. I'm gonna help more people so I get money. Yay! Wait, helping random strangers? Uh... Oh, yeah! It's money? Oh, wait, just in the game. Okay. Yeah, I mean, well, as far as I we know, really. the... Uh-oh. Oh, I guess this guy is kind of like a minotaur, but not really. Nah, he's, he's just a knight, dude. He's, he's toast. A giant, though. He's gigantic. He's just really big. Eleventh hour. What is that? Deflect physical attacks? With what? What weapon? It said this one? Uh, what is it again? Oh, okay. Forward, forward, Y. Cost... Okay. Forward, forward, Y. Really? So, I guess if somebody throws a projectile at us, we can block it? I don't I know. I guess so. So basically it's the same move as Sengetsu. Oh my gosh, you're right! It yeah, is! Because he was blocking your attacks. It's a Zengetsu move. Oh, we can't go that way. Okay, well, that's fun. The way is shut. The way is shut. Probably need that uh, giant hand that carriage guy kept telling us about. You need a giant hand. Wouldn't a giant hand be fun? Yeah. Uh, Wouldn't a giant hand be useful right about now? It's like, um... Maybe? maybe? What's this? It would, but we don't have one. HP upgrade! Ow! A lot of good that did. A lot of good that did. Oh. Bye! <laughs> mm, nice job. Oh, yes. Satisfying. Uh. Ow! That's what you get! Jerk. Ooh! Oh, my gosh. This, this game is guy. fun. Oh, we're going to a new area. That's what this means. So it's like a, you know, Mega Man boss room or transition room, whatever you want to call it. Cool. I know. It is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. The Cathedral. Dion K. 
Detached cathedral? Maybe something in French? I don't know. I don't know. Critical swing. Lash at enemies with a single mighty strike. Weapons, thorn whip, snake bite. We don't have any of those. Are we in France? I don't even know. If no, we no, we're in England. Or we're in England, but we were, but I guess that's a different language, obviously. So I don't know. I don't know what language that is. I don't know. Oh, save point. Sweet. That'll come in handy. Yes, that's fine. So we've been playing for an hour and 31 minutes. Okay. Okay, then. Good to know. We've had two deaths. Bye bye. Although, I mean, if I'm being completely candid, yeah, uh, when I played Symphony of the Night and some of the other Castlevania games that keep track of leveling up and things like that, I died quite a bit. Until you get to a certain point in the game where you would get, like, the double jump, or you would have, like, a item that could heal you. Mm -hmm. I would always die a lot at the beginning of Castlevania games, especially the Metroidvania ones where the whole point is to make your character stronger. Oh, okay, gotcha. More Kickstarters. Yeah. Not anymore. Yep. Say goodbye, Kickstarter people. Uh-oh. Oh, floating paintings. That's not creepy at all. Not anymore. <sighs> no, it is totally creepy. You know what that looks like? That looks like Comic Historian. A little bit. Could be. It could be. I mean... Uh-oh. Not... Oh, somebody's going in the basement. Okay. All right, I'll just uh, continue forward fighting monsters. Bye. -bye. <laughs> That's what you get, you pesky feline. Aha. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, that dude looks like somebody from the Game of Thrones. Yeah, he kind of does. Painful. Ugh. Skill shard. A magic that has permanent effect by acquiring the shard. This can be turned on or off inside the menu setting. Does not consume MP. Okay, shortcut. It's possible to call on the state registered with the menu shortcut ZL and some other things. Okay, well, uh, what is that? It's kind of terrifying. Oof. I do not know. I don't think we should mess with that thing. She doesn't look yeah, well. Yeah, it looks pretty creepy. Ah! Ugh. Knock that off! Knock off all that evil! Hmm. Yeah, we'll go this way. Whew. Beautiful. I know. We should live here. We'll rent to start. Uh, I'm not gonna live inside a creepy cathedral. I'm just saying it looks... Yeah, it is very pretty, though. It's like all it's all lit without electricity though it's all fire lit with all those torches and yeah basically like a, eternal like, flames or something like that yeah oh i don't have any magic i feel magic. like it could you know burn down really easily with all those all right. do we have any other fire? weapons what do we got oh we have a uh, a mace why don't we Morgan, try a mace morgan stern yeah we'll try a mace so those are, like, le legs on that thing? I don't know, I mean, it looks like one of those creepy puppets from Devil May Cry or Castlevania. It's super creepy. I'm pretty sure that Iga designed all the monsters, so I'm seeing a lot of similarities to some of his later Castlevania work. Mm-hmm. Because, I don't know, he thought puppets were kind of creepy. No idea how we get whatever is down there. Let's go this way. Yeah, I can't figure out how to get down there either. I'm guessing we need, like, a wall jump or a double jump or a flight ability. No way to get up there right now. And every Castlevania-esque, uh, you know, what type of game this is, they have, um, double jumps and things like... What is that? Oh my gosh, it's a cat with horns on it. Wait, that's a cat? It looks like a little It looks kid. like a rabbit. Oh wait, it could be a rabbit. It could be a... Whatever it is, it's really strong. It looks kind of like a cat, though. Well, it's not around anymore. With giant ears. wonder how much experience that thing gives. Let's go kill it I again. Know. It's cute, though. Oh, see, it looks like a cat. Ah! It definitely is a cat. 
All right, you get an insane amount of experience for fighting that. What level we are now? Uh, level 13. Let's Whoa. fight it again. That was awesome. I know, that was pretty cool. I feel bad for it. I mean, at first it looks like a jan uh, jackalope. Hi, kitty. <laughs> demon mm. cat inside your strange portal thing. Yeah, speaking of demon cats. Ah, he tagged me right before. That's not good. Mm, Shadow's having a bad day. Yeah. Seems to be. What the heck? Whoa! What is this guy? Something not good! Ah! Take that, fool! Oh, well, we can thank Egan for all these weird monsters, then. Yeah, I know. This isn't freaky at all. No, it's totally freaky. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh! A book! Okay, what do we have here? All right, so as always, guys, just pause uh, to read the story or whatever this is. I think it's talking about the Book of the Dead. Maybe. I don't know. Could be, yeah. Okay. Let's go this way. Uh-oh. A demon! Wait! I'm a good killer, Barber! Huh? Butchers and cutthroats all say as much. I'm not a cutthroat. I've never cut anyone. Well, well, well I have, but but it's these scissors. They've cursed me to become a demon. Oh. Sure they have. Then why not cast them aside? Cast them aside? If I could take them off, I wouldn't be cursed. Duh. <sighs> the name's Todd. And the only way my curse will be lifted is if I barber my way through 666 different hairstyles. Yikes. Well, why not just what? make the hairstyles up then? Lop a little off here or there? Ah, there's a penalty for sloppy lopping. If I don't give my patrons good haircuts, the scissors kill them dead. Oh my gosh. You have the worst curse ever. Yes, quite literally, yes. Please, can you help me find information about hairstyles? I'll catch you for free. That is not an enticing offer. No, 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 not, not cut you, cut it. Uh, wait, what are you even worried about? You look like you could rip me into a hundred pieces. Mm. Hmm. I really could. All right, you have a deal. You have a deal, weird dude. Wait, so I can get a haircut? So, miss. Shall I take a little off the top? Oh, you can change your hair. Miriam's appearance can be customized. Cool. Oh, wow. She looks completely different with different hair. Yeah, she does. All right, we'll do that. And then she can be a blonde. She can have white hair. White hair looks Ooh. cool. Black hair. I do like the white hair on her a lot. Brown. Red hair. That looks cool. I kind of like the red hair. Costumes. Purple. Green. Red. Black. Pink. What color suits her best? Um, could you go back to the blue again, or... The blue's her default. Oh, what about purple? Okay, we'll go purple. Yeah, we can do that. And for the costume subcolor? Um... You got... Oh, so I see. It would be like... What about the pink, maybe? Um, if you think she looks cute in pink, I would go with black, but... Uh, to make it more gothic, but if you want to do pink, I think she would look cute in pink. Yeah, definitely. Pink accents? Okay. But now her headband color doesn't match the rest well, of what she's wearing. The headband color, I don't think we can change. You can change her skin color. So color. she can look like a ghoul. She can look like a blue. Oh. She can look like she's pale. Normal oh. color. Yeah, darker, everything. You can change her eye color. <sighs> Green eyes. Yellow. Oh, wow. Ooh. That's freaky. So creepy. And I don't want to give her creepy eyes. I think she's fine with her blue eyes. That works. Alright. So then. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. The look suits you fine. It does? 
Okay, well, if so, you say so. But what happens after he gives you, like, a, how many did he say? Over a hundred different styles? 666. Oh, okay. Capacity up. I don't know what that does, but uh, maybe it does yeah, something. Yeah, capacity for what? No idea. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh. What, what do is you do you like her in the pink or? Um, she looks okay. I mean, I don't know. I kind of wanted, I don't know. I wonder if they have a red outfit. A red outfit? That would be cool. Oh no! All right, so, uh, more or less, we're back to where we need to be. This area is actually kind of tough, so, yes, three deaths now, okay? But, we changed how she looks again. This is her new costume. Uh, red coat with pink, whatever, with her red hair. So. I will, I will have to edit her later, because it's... Mm, That's fine, you know where okay. Todd is. You know where Todd is. It's okay, I've already... <laughs> I told Luke I didn't like her outfit, so when I, like, left for a little bit, it was like... <sighs> yeah. He decided to put her in that. I still... That's not pink. That's not red. That's pink. This she looks... Why would you put her in pink? If because the red is her... You said the outside needs to be red. That's the outside. No, that's the the outside outside is, is pink. You just put her in a black coat. No, that's red. It doesn't look red to me. Well, that's that's the red they have. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> we got a new item. So it doesn't really matter. I don't care. Like whatever. But I think she doesn't look right in that outfit. Dance mask. I personally like the white hair better anyway. But you like the white hair? All right. I would do a red in the inside, black on the outside, white hair. That's what I would do. All right. Well, we can go do that real quick. It doesn't matter. It does matter. If you're not going to like how the character looks, it takes away the fun. Todd, do your thing. I don't care. So, shall I? Yes. I okay. don't even know what it's going to look like. It would take me hours to find the right... There aren't bit. that enough. So, what? Oh, this is red. Right in the middle, yeah. I like that. And black. black. And the hair color is what? White? <laughs> um, or, yeah, the grayish. Whichever one. Yeah, that one looks good. There. The look suits you fine. Yeah, I like that better. I think she looks cool. Okay, there we go. She but, looks like a Harley Quinn type character. That works for me. Uh, it didn't. I mean, I didn't want her to look like Harley Quinn. But... Oh, that felt Sorry. good. It's okay. Maybe we'll we'll switch it up later. You can switch it up at any time. You just have to come to this cathedral area. Okay. I think that's all it is. All right. So again, if you guys want to pause, read the story. I don't really remember what happened. I wish they had more colors. We available. need to find a save point, otherwise we're gonna just keep running back and forth and back and oh no. That's so I fun. just don't. I don't know. I don't see how. I mean, I understand that. Oh my gosh. This looks kind of cathedrally because the ceilings are really high, but I just the rest of it. Yeah, I can understand they have back. They have back hallways and secret passageways in old churches because I actually uh, used to go to an old church that had secret doorways and back That's stairs. Cool. Oh my gosh, yes! Yes! Yeah. Let's get out of here. There was a church <laughs> that I knew that looked like um, a castle in their old town and it was made completely of stone and it uh, was not a cathedral but it looked like a castle but it had it literally when we used to play hide and go seek in that church like the youth and stuff there, we would be able to basically hide anywhere because there were literally secret hallways, secret doors, whole places in the church that were completely secret that you had no idea were there. How many times you get to say secret? As many times as there were secret places there. It was cool. That sounds fun though. <laughs> All right. It was fun. Hi, but... Hello. I don't know what those so, places were for though. Mean? But I'm just saying, what I was saying is like, I guess a cathedral would have more stairs and things like that. But I just think of a cathedral as a giant room that's really tall. I don't think of it as all those different layers and things like that. All those different layers? Okay. Um, so we have yes, some... all those different All those layers. different layers. Let's make ourselves a little stronger. Ooh, we can make our arrow stronger. Let's do that. I'll go with this. Yes. 
That'll help. Oh, thank you. You enhance the true arrow. Oh, I can't enhance it again. What's this? Um. Did you enhance the true arrow by making it green arrow? So, one thing you missed while I was running around getting back to where we died. Because, yes, guys, we are going to die in this game. It's going to happen. Um, yeah. I ran into one of those painting things, and when I killed it, it gave me a power. I think it's like some type of shield or something like that, so I'm just... Oh, you killed a painting? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I killed the painting. Oh, like one of those stained glass panels? No, one of the Kickstarter guys. Oh, or girls. and they gave you what? What was it they gave you again? They, they gave me the um, uh, power of, like, defense or oh, something. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Johannes, how was it you figured out a way to stop the crystal from corrupting me? She looks cool. I think she looks awesome like that, but... I borrowed a bit from Alfred's research. I don't know. He was studying ways to slow down objects. My attempts only worked when I placed Enochian script equivalent to what he chose in the same circular pattern. Uh, okay. Uh, I think I understand. Sort of. No, you don't. I know. Do you now? I understand that you're far smarter than me. And a poor teacher, apparently. Uh, Get a room, you two. Oh, uh, that guy wears a lot of beige. Alright, now we're gonna go buy some potions. I am so glad we found a transportation thing because... Oh, what am I doing? I can save! I can save! I need to save. Oh, Luke, you I, can I, save. Yeah, I, we need to save before, or after we buy these potions. I found a carriage that will take me across the courtyard bridge, but a stone statue is blocking the way. Good for what you! A message arrow just arrived from Zangetsu. In the Temple of Rainbow Glass, seek the demon carrying a stone statue in tribute. Wait, this game gives hints? Perhaps that demon's shard is just the power you need. Does Zangetsu have Herculean strength? How did he manage to cross the bridge? He drew a little sketch here at the bottom of a burly man leaping a great chasm. What? Oh, come on. Is there anything else you need? Yeah. What are you looking to buy? I need potions, thank you very much. I need potions, thank you very much. One high potion. Is this right? Ooh, thank you. Yep. That's what I needed. Thank you. I'll be here if you need me. Yeah, okay, nobody cares. Wow, her sleeves are like just like giant bells coming off of her hands. Oh, you're talking about uh, the that lady? Exorcist woman. I just call her the shop lady. I mean, she looks like her sleeves are like she must have got that outfit in the seventies or something. Yeah. It's just I'm not a fan of her outfit. Have you learned anything new? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Ooh, we completed a quest. Good work. Here's your reward. Oh. Uh, hemp. hemp. Okay. Fun. You got five strands of string hemp. Hmm. Great job. There we go. That makes me feel good. All right, let's go back to where we were now. Oh. Next thing you know, you're gonna trade like all of your land for a few beads. Don't tempt oh. me. All right. So, the cathedral. So we're looking for some type of demon in the cathedral area, I guess. That's our next boss Ooh. battle. I know. Pretty exciting. Yep. Oh, I hear church bells. Oh, satisfying. Oh, we're back in the cathedral. Ow. Well, yeah. I mean, we just teleported here. Uh-oh. What do we have now? Acid jet. That's smarted. It does, but I mean, this is how we get our powers, so I mean, you know, it is what it is. The good thing is, at least we're not at a super disadvantage anymore because we have the ability to heal. And, you know, we went back to town and got some other good st Ow. Stop that. What are you doing? He can climb on the ceiling? That's not fair. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, it is, Mr. Killer Barber Guy. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh! Uh. 
Bunch of flying enemies. Yeah, I'm out of here. Oh, yes! Save point! Awesome job. Thanks. Okay, so I guess we can fight all the enemies that are over here. Those guys, seriously, I cannot fi figure out where their faces are. It looks like they were a gargoyle or something. And we have some demon sword after us! Whoa. That's pretty crazy. Whoa! Let's fight this sword off. I don't know how you're supposed to beat a sword. Oh. Of steel. Uh, just throw stuff at it? Hit it until it dies? I mean, it is a demon, so that's some type of demonic flesh over it. So, we need to kill it till it dies. Ha! <laughs> there we go. That worked. Uh, that felt good. Whoa! Satisfying. I don't want to go that way. Yeah, it, it felt good to leave that room. There we go. Good job, Luke. Thank you. Oh! That was painful. Oh! Now we have the power of stone? What? Okay, we need to save. So what's good about uh, save point being nearby is you can actually heal and, you know, prevent yourself from dying. Which is always good. That is always good. Now, I want to try to get up to... It looks like there's a room right above me. Yeah, See, I wonder what's in that room. That is very cathedral looking. Um, oh yeah, right there, yeah. Definitely. That looks like this is the main hall of the cathedral. This is a sanctuary. Uh oh and then you'd have all the little winding rooms off to the side where people have their, like, uh, prayer rooms and all kinds of things. But yeah, this is the main cathedral. That's beautiful. More stained glass. Possibly Kickstarters, or it could just be regular anime art. Yeah. It's Master Hand? Stained glass version um, of it. Okay. Oh my gosh, that rose looks like the Beauty and the Beast. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's kind of weird. Ah! What in the world? Ouch! Oh my gosh, this. Not good. Wait, you're fighting this weird robotic spider, right? Uh. Or is it a hand? Looks like a giant hand. Whoa. Ouch. That could be useful for moving objects out of the way. Yeah, I think that's what it's supposed to be. Alright, we only have one high potion. It's not good! Oh! Come on, Miriam! Beat this giant hand! Well, actually, it's really not the hand's fault. He heard you say, I need a hand with something. Oh my gosh! And then someone said, give this girl a hand! Oh no! Dang it! Okay, so had to do a little bit of grinding. We also changed her costume again, her hair. And uh, we have a floating sword around us. So this is known as a familiar. More or less, that sword that we kept fighting, mm -hmm. it joined us, and now he's our friend. Oh, now he's a familiar. Yes, and his name is Sorty. Sorty the... F is his name really Sorty? Uh... Sure. Yes, I've okay. named him. He's His name is Sorty. You named him, okay. I see how it is. He's come in handy for the past uh, while that you've been... Whatever you've been doing. While I've been grinding. Okay. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna teach, uh, that master boss guy a lesson. At least that's the plan. Round oh! two! Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen him. Get him, Sorty! Run! Ooh! Whoa! One Miriam, let's take this guy down! Okay, we want to avoid that attack. <laughs> I love how the sword talks, though. It's a demonic sword, so he says angry things. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. 
Run! Oh, watch out. Come on, Sorty, do your thing, man! Get him! Come on, Sorty! Yes, we got a critical! Run! Awesome! Dang it! Uh oh. So when he picks this thing up, you want to be out of the way. Whoa! Whoa! No, 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 no! Whoa, watch out! A little heads up would have been nice. Okay, we have very little potions. On. Wait, were you just hitting him with a pan? No, it's my axe. What are you oh, talking okay. about? I don't know. Sorty, you did it! No, you didn't. Never mind. False alarm. False alarm. Come on, Sorty. Yes! Must die! Good job, buddy. Good job, Miriam. Uh, manipulative shard, a magic that will have a continuous effect by consuming MP. It's craft work. Grab onto certain objects and manipulate them. So I'm guessing that's what the hand is for. That could be useful. You think? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I guess we will. Max up. And a unicorn ring. What does that look like? Wait, how did her just change to blue again? What are you talking about? I told you... Huh? Never mind. We just changed your dress to... Red. I've been grinding. I changed her color because I didn't want it to be red. I can go change it again. Oh, I didn't remember you telling me that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, How do I put on my unicorn thing again? So, I'm gonna get rid of the dance mask. I'm gonna try this unicorn thing. It's gonna drop our defense just a little bit, but I think it's worth it. There. So now we have a pretty unicorn ring. Yay! Alright, so now we have the ability to move stuff using that hand upgrade we have. Cool. You know, that giant thing we just fought? Mm-hmm. Okay. Awesome, so we'll be able to move some of that stuff out of the way then. Right, so that means we can go all the way back to the garden where that dude is. Mm-hmm. First thing we need to do is, well, probably grab this. We're going to need to save, because, well, never know what's going to happen. So, we're going to save. Ah. Because you can't escape from crossing fates. Ah, uh, we'll just start another save. That's fine. There we go. Okay. Yeah, just like I have 15 billion save files on my uh, civilization. You have a lot of save files on your Civ game. Yep. I go in and I delete all of them once in a while and just start over. I'm not worried about you guys. I got Sorty watching my back. I'm fine. Excuse me. I'm just trying to figure out if those are like Mothmen or they're just... Because their heads seem to be jammed into their bodies, but... What, these things? They're gargoyles. These are weird looking. It doesn't feel like they have necks. Well, I mean, they can't use designs that everybody else is using. They have to oh. be creative, you know? Yeah, but gargoyles have been around, like, for so long. There's your gargoyle, right there. Anyone could really use them if they wanted to. I guess technically. Bye bye Ugh. Alright, I'm coming back to the... where Todd is. How do you want the character to look? You want her to keep huh? her blue dress? Well, you like her in blue, so... I just... I don't know. I didn't like how she looked that one time. Oh, come on. Getting really frustrating, dude. Thank you, bye. Okay, Todd. Let's see what you can do for us. Hey, Todd. Fascinating. People oh, yeah. Hair like this. Todd has mastered a new hairstyle. Yee! I don't really understand how that worked, but apparently he has a new hairstyle. Oh, oh cool. that is kind of cool. That was like a really long braid. Yeah, well, I mean, it's cool. Yep, looks pretty cool. All right, so what color? I don't know. I mean, you really like pink, so you should just do that. All right, well, I'll just go pink then. 
There we go. The look suits you fine. Thanks, Todd. It looks very pinky. Really pinky. Okay. Now, uh, did I come in from over here? What's over here again? Perfect. All right, we're gonna teleport out of here. Um, how do I get back to the garden? That's a cathedral. The entrance. That's closer to the garden. Cool. Okay, so now that we have that hand ability, we should be able to, in theory, move whatever that thing is out of my way. Bye. All right. Well, let's try to move that crazy block there. That is the plan, Stan. What is over here? Uh, I think this is the way. Oh, yes! Oh, yeah, and I forgot. Yeah. Our, um, familiar sortie here will continue to level up as we do. So, your familiar can get really, really, really strong. And the stronger it gets, the better it's gonna be in battle with you. Which awesome! Makes, yeah, that makes sense. So you can level up your party members also, that's cool. It's not really a party member, it doesn't have a health bar, it doesn't use any magic either. But oh, okay, so it doesn't de deplete magic then, that's nope. good. It doesn't consume magic, it doesn't do anything, it doesn't attack when you want it to, but if you're fighting a tougher enemy, it will assist you if it, you know, if Sortie wants to. Mm -hmm. All depends what Sortie wants to do. That, yeah, that's true. Seems like that sword have, has a mind of its own, so... Well, I mean, it is a demon, so... <laughs> uh, he's fun at parties. Okay, so... Uh, according to the map... I think it's down this way? Is this where you are, dude? Um, I thought it was down that way. Okay, now, should be, because I can't, there's no double jump. There he is! What you need is a giant hand. Yes, we have a giant hand. Now, how do I use what the giant we hand? we have is a giant hand. Shortcuts? No. Arc? No. Shards? Uh... Craft work. Grab on a certain objects and manipulate them. Okay. And how do I do that? Um, I'm not sure. Oh! I'm doing it! Aw, I was hoping that would actually hurt them, but... It didn't do anything. Yeah, that was weird. Kindly remain seated during the journey. Kindly remain seated? <laughs> okay. Whoa! That looks cool! Yeah, that was pretty crazy. We are here. That was actually pretty that interesting. Was awesome. I like that. Wait, are those unicorns that are uh in front of that? Yeah, that's a demon unicorn. Oh, pretty cool. And this looks like a health upgrade? Yep! Nice! That'll help. Yep, it can't hurt. Definitely. Chest is up here. Kung Fu Vest! Alright, so let's upgrade our equipment. Uh, so we're gonna get rid of our dress. We have scale armor, which not gonna help. Kung Fu looks like it's a little bit stronger, so we're gonna wear that. Oh. You don't really see what the dress looks like. I mean, it's just a status boost. It's not, you know. Oh, okay. Oh, bookcase. Um, hatchet heel. Down, down, Y. Leather boots, heel boots. Hmm. Okay. So more combos, then. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the whole point of the game. All right! We found another one of these, so let's activate this so we can use it later. Score! Okay, now that that's activated, we can go all the way back to the Garden of Silence. 
All right, so if we just find a save point, then uh, we can be done with today's episode. So let's explore a little bit. Oh, there's some interesting flutey music. I think it's supposed to be mysterious sounding. What the heck? Ha! Well, it's probably best. Fairies are really supposed to be demonic in real life anyway. Oh, it's a demonic fairy, so... <laughs> now it's a demonic dead fairy. Well, people say that fairies help you, but then they ask for something later. In real life. Whereas mm. fairies in movies and fairy tales just help you, but in real life, that's not how it works. So, I say down with the fairy. Happy to oblige. Sorting! Ah, oh, never mind. So Basic, basically, the the weird tales about fairies is like that. Basically, the people who say that they've seen them in real life or tales about them. Basically, it's like, okay, if a member of your family is sick and dying, you ask the fairy for help, they say they're gonna help, the person lives, but then they kill somebody else in your family later. So it's like, they're really evil, basically. They sound like fun creatures. Yeah, that's why I would take one down. They're not good. Works for me. All right, actually, there's a save point back at town. Uh, we'll do the Garden of Silence tomorrow. They're all tricksters, though. All those little mm, demon creatures, like leprechauns and everything. I wouldn't doubt it. All right, bye, Mr. Dude. So, there was a teleportation thing over here. And then maybe we completed some bounties, too. All, right, all the way back to town. Full dive. Wrong game, but... Mm, no, not really the same concept. Full dive is going into a virtual world. We're just kind of teleporting like Nightcrawler through stained glass. Kind of. Mm, yeah, I guess so. Whoa, some storms outside. Something I think that's the wind. Foot. It could be. Any targets for me? Oh, she actually kind of looks pretty in pink. She does. Good work. Here's your reward. Whoa, how does this lady have all this stuff if her whole family was taken down by monsters? I think she looted the bodies of her family members. Have you learned yeah. anything new? Here's what I've how else would she give you a reward? Your Give me something useful, like money or something? <sighs> hmm. You got steel. You can carry around pieces of steel in your pocket. That won't weigh you down at all. Yeah, uh, great. Have you learned anything new? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. So we've avenged all this, but we're still working on these monsters. Okay. That works. Cool. So she had some useful information then. Excuse me, annoying dude. Doesn't really matter who you are. All right. So anyway, guys and gals, that is going to do it for our fourth episode of Bloodstained, I believe. And you Yay! can also add another death to the total. So we're awesome. now at three or four deaths. I forget. But like, comment, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Check out our Super Mario Maker series every morning at 7 a.m. until we complete the story aspect and keep an eye out for streams. But we'll be doing this game every day, so look forward to it. I don't know what its time slot's going to be, but Ace Attorney moved to 6 p.m. But until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you with more Bloodstain tomorrow. Bye-bye. See y'all. Have a great day, guys.